hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we will be sh showing you like how we can use file system utility in the databricks so let me quickly switch over to my databricks page and if you remember in the last video i have shown you the use of this help command right so it will give you the list of utilities which we have in which we have basically in the databricks now as i said today we'll be talking about the file system utility so let me quickly show you what all functions or what all methods we present in the file system. So you get the list of methods. Sorry, my bad. Start. Yeah. So it will give you the list of methods which are present in the file system utility. Now, if you see, the first method is CP. Then we have had LS, MKDIR. So CP is used for copy. Head is to print few line of code uh, from the file. LS is basically used to list the directories in the file present inside the directory. MK it's a standard command. Generally, you have seen it. So it's basically used to create the directory. MV to move the files and the directories across the file system. Put basically help you. To write the given string out of a file right and then this rm it will help you to remove a, a directory or a file so let me start with the ls command right so how to use this ls command directly you can write dbutils dot fs dot ls and to get the information of the root path right or the root folder right what you can write you can write like this it will give you the number of folders or the files present in the root node or the root location now if you wanted to see in the databricks ui like where exactly you can find these folders you can correct that click on this data you will see this tbfs over here and if you are not seeing this tbfs what you have to do is you have to go inside settings go to admin console click on workspace settings scroll down and you will see one service here uh, this one the dbfs files browser so if, if, if it is disabled then you will not see the dbfs uh, tab over there and if it is enabled then only you will be able to see this dbfs tab okay so since it is enabled you can see dbfs is there if i click on this you will see there are folders present but you must be wondering we can see only three folders here file store mnt and the users however in the output if you remember we had five uh, yeah however in the output if you remember we have five five folders right so if you talk about these folders right these two data these two folders are given by databricks it's a basically you can say open source folders which are or, or sample data sets which actually they have provided to work on basically you can refer these data sets for your uh, uh, training purposes now let's say you wanted to see what is inside this particular folder okay so again you can use the same command and the only thing you have to change is the path so you can put the path over here and you can run it there is one more way to get the list of these uh, file names and other things right instead of writing in this way right how you can write is Sorry, that yeah. What you can do, you can create a new cell here, and instead of writing like this, you can use fs and ls, and that's it. Just run it, it will give you the same run, same value, right? Same information, but as in a tabular format, you can say. So, it is up to you the way you wanted to use. Generally, I use in this way only uh, as in standard practice so now after this let's see let's say i wanted to see what are folders are present inside this tbfs comic folder okay so i'll just replace it again and see what is there inside it if i run it i still can see there are many files and folders are present inside it and uh, let's print this value in the tabular format as well so that it will be easy for you guys to understand okay so if I, if I wanted to print this value or print the folders and 
the file is present in this location I need to write like this without double quotes without brackets and everything and you'll get this information now let's say you wanted to go inside this fact data set and you wanted to see some information again maybe some files or folders again okay so don't get confused if you are seeing anywhere uh, writing the code like this in your project it is just that uh, they are trying to list down the resources or the folders and the files now if you see in this particular folder we have three men three files right let's say i wanted to see the data which is present in this particular csv file i'm not reading it uh, or uh, you can say uh, i just wanted to ha have a sample out of it right so if you remember we have a command of uh, file system right head and if you see let's let's see like what head says what is the benefit of using head okay dot fs sorry fs help so if you see here it will return you the first maximum bytes of the given file right it will give you the data in a string and call it formal utf okay you can uh, uh, provide some parameters as well if you want okay but as of now what i'll do i'll simply print the value and see like what is the what is the value inside it okay so instead of using it i'll write head and then okay Did I copy the wrong one minute? Let me take a look. Yeah, instead of file, I, and I wrote the folder basically. So, if you see here, it is giving you some data. I don't know if it is the first 20 line or 30 lines. Yeah, but I don't remember actually. But it is giving you some data, right? Some sample records for your information. So, this is how you can use your ls command and head command. Now let's let's see how we can basically create a directory. Okay, so let me switch over down. Okay, so I'll again use utils dot fs dot help. And I'll write like mkdir. Okay, it will help you to create the given directory if it does not exist. Also creating any necessary parent so if you wanted to create a nested directory you can do like this okay so it is up to you so let's say i wanted to create this directory okay so what i will do fs mk tirs okay and uh, let's say i wanted to create a directory inside mint or uh, what are other files information we have we have one file storage as well mint as user as well let's use this it would be i think good you can use any path it is not hard something which you need to follow let's say i wanted to use uh, yt and inside yt i will say file okay and when i will execute it okay it will give you the true value okay now let's check inside this uh, data folder again let's go to dbfs and see if it is created so if you see here inside dbfs we have one folder yt created and inside yt we have the file created right folder created so this is how you can create the folders from uh, using this mkdir 